Hi, this is Rena from the Bargain Hunting Mom blog and from the Price Match Report. Dot com. Um, today we're going to talk about organizing your coupons. Um, the first rule to organizing your coupons is that there is no rules. You have to figure out what works best for you. Just because something works great for me does not mean it's going to work great for you. But we're going to go over a couple different methods um, and then you can decide which one is best for you. You can try one for a little while if that doesn't work for you then try something else um, one of the first and oldest ways to organize your coupon is the envelope method this is a great way to use those extra envelopes that come in with your bills I know I and I do and a lot of people just pay your bills through your online banking and so you end up with a bunch of these um, I hang on to them and uh, use them for coupons sometimes. Sometimes if I'm shopping several stores, I'll put my coupons in um, one envelope, say this one's for Walmart, and this one's for Walgreens, and this one's for CVS. Um, that's a great way to do it. Or you can get a little plastic um, organizer. Just opens up and has the different tabs that you can um, sort out you can do by section or you can do um, once again I think I used to use this one when I shopped ex several stores and I had um, had them by the store for my uh, big shopping day um, you can get a little box a lot of people use um, a shoe box or one of those photo organizer boxes this is just a little index box and I've got some little um, index cards that I put um, little dividers on these back here are actually little um, the little Avery post-it things that you can stick on there and this fits down really nice in the cart next to your purse okay I'm changing recording to my camera so that I can uh, use my hands and show you stuff this is my coupon binder um, I got it from Amazon has a nice little zipper pocket right here um, handle and a strap you open it up and it has a pocket here in the front for your pins for your shopping list for your coupons you plan on using and it also has a coupon in the uh, I mean a pocket in the back now this is where I keep my current um, coupon policies extra labels and then extra um, page inserts if I need them now the inserts of the coupon binder are normally nothing but collect your card uh, pages like your baseballs or your kids Pokemon cards or you know you can get them from uh, Amazon from Michaels from Walmart you can at one time Dollar Tree even carried some um, but the quality of the ones from Dollar Tree is not very good as you can imagine and they rip pretty easy um, the best quality ones obviously come from Amazon or um, from Michaels. They are the nice, thick quality. Um, these, this particular kind right here has nine pockets across the page. You can get um, the ones. This is from Amazon. It's kind of hard for, for you to be able to see this. Um, this only has four pockets on it, and that's really great for some of the larger coupons or for... Um, something that you always have a bunch of coupons um, now for your coupon binder the first thing to remember is that there is no rules you have to organize your coupon binder in a way that's going to work for you some people think have a category mind some people think in alphabetical terms um, whatever works for you what I have done is I have organized my coupon binder to go um, in the flow of the, my local Walmart store um, right here I have used little um, these are just little um, the little Avery um, stick on tabs and then I actually stuck a staple in it to make sure that it didn't pull off um, my first coupon page 
is I you I had it written on here right here let me move this camera strap um, is called my hot coupons these are the coupons that are um, maybe for a free item these are for free items um, the coupons that I want to keep um, in front of my eyes so that I don't forget to use them um, Next is um, in the pharmacy section. I only I have a tab for pharmacy, but you can see that I have the area have the coupon pouches organized a little bit clearer, um, broken down a little bit more. Um, vitamins, kids vitamins. That's a whole page uh, for that. Um, diet bars, diet drinks, protein uh, bars. Uh, muscle aid, first, uh, excuse me, um, muscle stuff, first aid, cold, children's, this is all um, the children's section for children's fever, children's cold, I don't have very many coupons for that, um, lip care, throat, cough drops. Now, if you will notice that this is exactly in the order that it is in my Walmart in Mineral Wells Walmart when you go into the pharmacy section the first thing is vitamins then it's your diet products then you come to your first aid and to your muscle relief stuff then you come to and I have tried to put it in order of the store so that when I'm shopping, if I'm looking for coupon or if I did not have time to pull out the coupons I wanted to use that day, I just keep flipping, flipping. I don't have to flip back and forth. By the time I get to the end of the store, I should be at the very end of my coupon binder. There's condiments, there's uh, marinades, pickles, tea, coffee breads um, and then register area which is where I put um, candy batteries gum and then I also put kind of my odds and ends uh, coupons back there <clears throat> if there is um, say a brand of something that you use all the time let's see um, my personal my shampoo and all that kind of stuff is a good here here this is a good example this is actually um, the deodorant page this is for the men's deodorant um, old Gillette degree Old Spice Dove Irish Spring Axe um, because those are items that I always have a lot of coupons for if you don't um, then just put one that says men's deodorant and be done with it and go on you have to organize it and customize it to you um, I actually am going to uh, redo uh, my binder because I found some things that I would like uh, differently that I don't use like I thought I would here's my toothpaste I have Colgate, Crest, uh, Ar Aquafresh, Arm & Hammer and then miscellaneous because there's always some kind of weird brand that comes out that like Tom's of Maine or or something like that <clears throat> just gonna show you real quick how um, baby dairy cheeses frozen water and drinks cleaners uh, paper products juice it's just I mean there is no right or wrong way to do your coupon binder find something that works for you try it if it doesn't work then change it and do something else the file folder method of organizing your coupons is actually a method that I am slowly changing to I used to cut just about every coupon that came out so that I always had a coupon if I went down the clearance aisle at Walmart or Walgreens and there was something on clearance sometimes I had a coupon for it made it a really great deal or made it free um, Walgreens often offers in register rewards on items that I wouldn't normally buy but I'll use if I can get them free um, and so that that's that's when I use the binder method but 
schedules now have gotten so hectic. School has started. We got soccer. We got football. Um, the report is taking me longer, and I just don't have the time to cut every single coupon anymore. So I'm changing to the folder method. Um, what I'm doing is each week when I go when I look through the coupons um, if there's a coupon that I know that I'm going to use that I will always use um, I will go ahead and clip it and put it in my binder um, some of those these coupons are like if there's a coupon for board and shredded cheese then yeah I'm gonna use it or um, uh, let's say uh, Grand's Biscuits is what my family likes um, but the other coupons say for laundry detergent and toilet paper and sure I use those products but I'm not brand picky so I'm going to use whichever coupon is going to get me the best deal let me show you how to do this okay for the file folder method of organizing your coupons you're going to need either an extra drawer um, in your desk that's big enough for for your file folders or you can get one of these this is a milk crate um, from Walmart they're about three or four dollars um, and some hanging file folders you can see that this is one that I already had kinda dusty my file folders are uh, faded out and um, but hey they still work now every Sunday when you get your coupons it's just a red plum insert from Sunday you'll notice on the very edging of the coupons waiting for my camera to focus it has the date so this is the 99 insert the red plum insert so when you get your coupons you're gonna write on the front 819 this is the um, Sunday the 19th my camera's not going to focus on it um, Sunday the 19th red plum insert so I just put 819 that way I don't have to look at the very edge every single time <clears throat> getting old my eyes are getting old um, then what I do is I get several I, I cut about six sets of coupons for my for uh, myself um, I take my coupons lay all six sets out lay the pages on top of each other I usually have them spread out all over my bar um, lay them out then take and put a staple in the top of the page and you'll notice that I did not staple it is not in any coupon on the front or the back side okay then <clears throat> I will would put them all back inside the front cover for the 819 and drop them in the file folder that says 819 now if you want to you could do just a whole folder for August you could do a folder that said 819 smart source 819 red plum whatever works for you I have one folder for the Procter & Gamble because there is only one Procter & Gamble insert a month I also have a folder back here for my internet printed coupons sometimes I go through mainly at the beginning of the month or at the very end of the month when all the coupons reset um, manufacturers only allow there to be so many of a coupon printed so if it's an item that I use and I want to make sure that I get the coupon I go ahead and print it and then I have a, a uh, tab for my all you magazines